I'm ready. Yes. I'm ready. I'm ready. Ready. Okay. I'm ready. Let's go! Okay. 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 Oh. Yes. Oh. I'm ready. Oh. Okay. Oh. 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 Yes. Oh. Oh. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay. I'm ready. Okay. I'm ready. Okay. I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay. I'm ready. Ready. I'm ready. Ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Yes. I'm ready. Ready. I'm ready. Okay. 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 Yes. Okay. 
Okay. Yes. Let's go. Let's go. I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's go. Yes. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Yes. I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's go. Ready. Okay. I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> Okay. Let's go. I'm ready. Yes. I'm ready. Okay. Okay. I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay. Okay. I'm ready. Ready. Okay. I'm ready. Yes. I'm ready. I'm ready. 
I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's go. Okay. I'm ready. I'm ready. Ready. I'm ready. Yes. I'm ready. Let's go. I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's go. Let's go. Oh. 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 Okay. Ready. I'm ready. Yes. I'm ready. Okay. 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 Oh. Okay. Ready. Oh. I'm ready. Okay. Okay. Yes. I'm ready. I came here to discuss a classified matter with Sir Eglis. May I insist on keeping this conversation confidential? I have no secrets from my friends. If you want to say something, talk to the three of us or not at all. Well, if you insist, you are aware that there is trouble in Yasis. Horrible crimes are happening in remote parts of the Alad. Yes, we know that. For some unknown reason, we always meet a necromancer or two on the crime site. It's been worrying me for a while. Yes, there are renegades among us, but our internal investigation unit is working on it. It seems that the noble lords are responsible for these outrageous actions. Have you heard about Sir Tayrak? Yes, I do. He is greedy and cruel, and because of that, he has become rich and powerful. I wouldn't want him to be my lord. There is, in fact, a long-standing feud between our two families. We were informed that Tayrak is violating the king's law and his land by using his personal guards to terrorize the population. Even the noble knights are not safe in his land. However, if the Necromancer Guild sends a pacification force, it would cause undesired attention. It would be more appropriate if one of the King's Knights performed that function. And that's me, right? You were the first one considered because you have personal reasons to despise Sir Tayrak. However, if you reject our proposal, we'll select another knight to do it. Give it a thought, Eglis. Excuse me. I belong to the Yasis Trade Guild, and I would like to talk to Sir Eglis, if only he agrees to listen to a mere tradesman. Don't show false modesty, good man. The Trade Guild is known all over the Alad, and no one will call its members mere tradesmen. Of course I will listen to you. 
Everybody knows that your friends and you have defeated the orcish armies in the desert. People tend to exaggerate. We have indeed traveled to the desert, but it wasn't nearly as glorious as you say. Shall we get down to business now? Our guild has been sending caravans into the mountains for many years. The caravan path winds through the orcish lands. We have spent a lot of money and effort to make this path reasonably safe. For some time now, almost all the caravans made it to their destination safely. However, recently we started losing more and more. The caravans would just disappear. We petitioned the king, but our request was turned down. He values his soldiers too much to send them to the desert. You, Sir Iglis, are the one not afraid of the sands. On behalf of the Trade Guild, I beg you to satisfy our request and deal with our misfortune. Of course, your compensation will be well worth it. Trade is an old and honorable occupation. I can see no disgrace to me in fulfilling your guild's request. Oh, hello again. I wouldn't be able to convince you to watch my post for a while, would I? Oh, never mind. I can see that people like you would never be content to stand watch over a lowly gate. You have done a great service to the ancient woods, and you proved worthy of a reward. What is your quest? I can help if you are searching for something obtainable, or I can warn if it's forbidden. We want to find all three of these fallen stars. There are many indications that when they are put together, life on Yassis will change for the good, and the turmoil of the recent years will end. My grandpa, an astrologer, had determined that one of the stars has fallen somewhere in the ancient woods, and that's why we're here. Who knows more about the woods than the druids? You can help us. Yes, I know what you're talking about. But finding a fallen star is not much easier than obtaining one of those that shine in the sky. Listen now to the story I tell. An elven family lives in the westernmost part of the Alod. They had come here before the seeds of the first trees of the ancient woods fell to the ground. Even Great Saken May, the lord of the druids, knows not a hundredth of what is fathomed by the elves. Their thoughts are obscure and mysterious, but even they cannot hide from the trees. In the Night of the Omen, one of the stars did indeed descend into the ancient woods. One of the elves happened to behold its fall. No one except the surrounding trees saw him pick up that star and take it away. The trees told us, and now we tell you the secret. I will show you the way to the Western Territory. After that, you will be on your own. You will have to attract the elves' attention and convince them to give you the star. There's nothing else I can do to help you. It's not our custom to request help from plane dwellers, especially warriors. However, sometimes life makes it a necessity. What happened? And what kind of assistance do you require? There is a small village on the plain frontier which is being raided by throngs of carnivorous squirrels. These pests are besieging the village for no reason. The inhabitants of this village have always been good neighbors to us. I want to help them overcome this problem. However, their lord is very suspicious of druids. If our armed force appears there to aid the peasants, he would perceive it as an invasion. It wouldn't be nearly as complicated if a noble knight does the same. Don't worry. In a day or two, only smoking chunks of meat will remain of those carnivores. I promise. No, no, no! I have no intention of killing the animals at all! Their attack on the village peasants only means that something must be preventing them from living their normal life. If you find and eliminate this reason, you will be able to aid the peasants without slaughtering all the squirrels. This is what I want from you. What in the hell is that? An orc? Here? Take a better look, Iglis. Don't you recognize our old buddy? How are you doing, Ginshush? I enjoy living living in the ancient woods. I don't brawl with hunters and druids, only catch catch animals, because I am kind but hungry. You told, told me all truth about ancient woods. I owe you now. Tell me when you go go fight somewhere. I go with you. 